Are you wondering if you should invest in ChatGPT Plus or Claude Pro? Well, you've come to the right video because I'm going to compare ChatGPT Plus versus Claude Pro and look at some of these important factors like this and determine which one is better for each individual factor. Now, I made videos on is ChatGPT Plus worth it or is Claude Pro worth it? I have two videos right here from a month ago and you guys gave me some really good feedback. So I thought, why not make a head-to-head -head comparison video and then by the end of this hopefully you guys can determine if chat GPT plus or Claude Pro is best suited for your individual needs. But if this is your first time to the channel, I appreciate you being here. My name is Ryan with AI Insider Tips, and my mission is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. So be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, comment below, and now let's dive back into ChatGPT Plus versus Claude Pro. So I know this looks a little old school, but this is the way I like to stay organized when I do these types of comparisons. And the first factor that I wanna look at is pricing and features. So if I go to OpenAI's website and hover over products and then click, uh, looks like click pricing down here under ChatGPT, this is the page that I'm on and I'll leave a link to this and everything else that I mentioned in the video description below, but ChatGPT Plus still does cost $20 a month. That price point has never changed. And with that $20 a month price, you get access to the following. Early access to new features, access to GPT-4, 4.0, and GPT-4.0 Mini. This is one of the most important factors here is you get up to 5x more messages for GPT-4.0. So GPT-4.0 is the most advanced model from OpenAI during the recording of this video. You get access to data analysis, file uploads, vision, and web browsing. Dolly image generation, that's a very important feature. And you also get access to custom GPTs. That's another important feature. If you're not on the pro plan of ChatGPT Plus and you're still using the free version, I believe you can generate two images a day now, but you don't get the full access of image generation. You don't get custom GPTs and you're very limited on your usage of GPT-4.0. Now looking at Claude Pro on the other hand, this is what you get. It also does cost $20 a month. So the pricing is a complete wash at the $20 a month price point right here. So you also get 5X more usage than the free tier provides. So the most advanced model from Claude right now is Claude 3.5 Sonnet. So you get 5X more usage from Claude 3.5 Sonnet than you would on the free version of Claude. You get priority access to, to Claude during high traffic periods, similar to what we see with ChatGPT+. You also get early access to new features that help you get the most out of Claude. Now, I don't believe that this page is updated. I couldn't find a more updated page for Claude Pro, but you also get access to what's called Claude Projects. And I'm gonna dive deeper into Claude Projects in a little bit, but this is Claude's version of custom GPTs. And I like Claude Projects, so I'm excited to dive in more, but that is what you get. So if we come back to the comparison, I would honestly give this a wash because they're both $20 a month, you get access to similar features for that $20 a month price point, most notably the usage. ChatGPT Plus, you may be saying, may get the slight or not, because you do get more, it seems, with that $20 a month. But in my opinion, this is a wash when it comes to pricing and features. So the next factor that's important to evaluate here are the language models that you get for both ChatGPT Plus and Claude Pro. And when it comes to ChatGPT+, the most advanced model from OpenAI right now is GPT-4.0. And yes, you can get this on the free plan of ChatGPT, but you will be very limited in terms of usage. And this is a very advanced model. I'd suggest going to this page for more information or just start using GPT-4.0 on your own. This is a very sophisticated and advanced model, and it is high quality. If you go down here, you can see all sorts of examples. Uh, they compare it to all these models. Models. Obviously, Claude 3.5 Sonnet is not in here. So GPT-4.0 was released on May 13th. Claude 3.5 Sonnet was released on June 20th. So a little over a month, 3.5 Sonnet was after GPT-4.0. Um, but this is a high quality model. Again, there's all sorts of things you can do and start playing around with it and read this for more details. Um, but when it comes to Claude, you get access to Claude 3.5 Sonnet. And this is my favorite AI language model available right now as of this video recording. Uh, if you go down here and look at some of the benchmarks, again, I don't trust all of these benchmarks. They're always going to say that their model is better than the competitors or the competition. Uh, so take these with a grain of salt. 
But from my experience using Claude 3.5 Sonnet, it sounds more empathetic, it's more accurate, it sounds more human-like. I just like the text outputs of Claude 3.5 Sonnet versus a GPT-40. That is my personal opinion. Curious to hear what you guys think in the comments. Here's the page all about Claude 3.5 Sonnet. I would suggest reading this for more details. But if I come back here, in my opinion, I'm going to give the slight nod when it comes to language models to Claude Pro over Chat GPT Plus because I do prefer 3.5 Sonnet over GPT 4.0. That is just my personal preference. Now, moving on to the topic of AI agents, and what exactly do I mean by AI agents? So with either Claude Pro or ChatGPT+, Plus, you get access to build custom AI agents. So for ChatGPT, this is called custom GPTs. This is the AI agents inside ChatGPT that you can build. And I do have several of my own GPTs. If you click my GPT, it's going to take a little bit to load here, but I have several of my own that I've created. So whether it's my own AI agent, so it can write like me, I have a podcast episode optimizer, a YouTube video optimizer, I have a PR response one, I have a video to blog post converter, a news post summarizer. There's all sorts of things that you can do. What I like about this is they have a custom GPT store. So if there's a specific use case that you want, you can go find a custom GPT that's already been created by someone in the community versus trying to do it from yourself. So for example, if there's something you want related to, uh, let's just do um, images, right? So if I click images, there's gonna be all sorts of these image generators, right? This one has over 6 million uses when it comes to generating AI images with this custom GPT. You would simply click start chat and then you could start using it right here. Save it up here in the top left. Uh, you can share links. These are shareable links. You can share with anyone that you want, make them available to the public, et cetera, et cetera. So while I do enjoy using custom GPTs, now this might be controversial to some, I do prefer Claude projects more. And I'm gonna explain why here in a little bit. So very high level, this is Claude's version of custom GPTs. I do actually have a separate video where I compare these in more detail. So I'll leave that in the description if you wanna look at that for more details on each one. But the reason why I like Claude projects more than custom GPTs is number one, it's easier to create them. The, the creation process for a custom GPT is a little more sophisticated for the average person than creating a project inside Claude. And number two, I like what they do with project knowledge on the right hand side here. So if I wanna add knowledge to my project, I can either upload a PDF, upload a document, image, whatever, or add text. So I do a lot with like transcriptions on podcasts, YouTube videos, uh, articles that I've written, books that I've contributed to, et cetera, et cetera, to build up my knowledge base for my custom project. This is just a lot easier to do this inside Claude. Now you are limited with the percent of knowledge size that you get. That is a little flaw in my opinion, um, but I like how much more organized this is. I can come in here and delete certain knowledge if I wanna do that versus if I go into a custom GPT, for example, it's a lot more difficult to remove some of these things. So yes, you can add knowledge here, but if I click create, whatever you start doing inside this GPT builder, you don't have any history or memory of what you did before, so you can't go back and delete it versus how easy it is to come in here and do that for a Claude project, right? So if I go in here and say, here are some podcast transcriptions I've been on, use this as your memory uh, to mimic my text outputs to sound more like me. You would do that in the creation tab here, but then it's gone if you come back and you wanna end up removing that for whatever reason. So I just prefer Claude projects over, chat, or over custom GPTs, excuse me, and for that reason, I am giving the slight nod to Claude Pro over ChatGPT Plus when it comes to AI agents. Now, these next few factors are going to be pretty quick solely because of the fact that Claude can still not generate images or browse the internet in real time. If I go to ChatGPT and I enter something like generate an image of dogs playing in the snow, you'll get the power of Dolly 3 at your disposal where you can generate AI images that look like this. Versus if I go to Claude and ask it to generate any sort of image, it's gonna give you the following in response. I apologize, I'm not able to generate, create, or manipulate or produce images. I can only analyze or perceive images. I don't have the ability to generate, yada, yada, yada. Um, so that is a major flaw of Claude right now is it still does not have the ability to generate AI images for free. 
Now, if you do wanna use Claude Pro and you still wanna generate AI images, you can actually access Dolly 3 for free using what's called the Bing Image Creator. So if you wanna invest in Claude Pro and just use this on the side for generating free AI images, you can definitely do that. Um, but I have to give this to ChatGPT+. Plus. There's really no comparison here, just for the sole fact that Claude still cannot generate AI images as of this video recording. And it's the same story here on the topic of web browsing. Claude still cannot browse the internet in real time. If I go to ChatGPT and enter something like, what is the current price of Bitcoin? What it's going to do is it's going to browse Bing in real time because that's who it's integrated with. And it's going to give me, you know, a range because Bitcoin fluctuates so much. But you can do this for any sort of recency prompt, right? Like, what time is the game on tonight? Who won the Super Bowl? What's the stock price of this? It's going to browse the internet in real time to give you these updated answers, which is a huge, huge factor of ChatGPT Plus that I enjoy a lot. And if I come over to Claude, try to do the same thing. What is the current price of Bitcoin? It's going to say, I don't have access to real-time data or current market prices. It fluctuates, basically saying that it can't browse the internet in real time. So this one's going to be very quick as well. Going to give that to ChatGPT+. That's an obvious one. I truly hope that Anthropic is working on both AI image generation and real-time web access for Claude, because if Claude gets those two, that's a game changer for sure. Now this next factor here again is very subjective and it's really based on user preference and that is user interface. I must admit, I do enjoy the user interfaces of both platforms. I like how it has these prompt starters here. It's a very clear search bar on the bottom. Um, I like how you can pin custom GPTs on the top left of ChatGPT+. I also like how on the left they have a history of your chats. That's very convenient as well if I wanna command F and go find a previous chat in history. Um, so I have to say, I do like the interface of ChatGPT+. I also like the interface of Claude Pro. Again, it has some prompt starters here. Um, I like how you can easily you know, adjust the models if you wanna do that. I just like the overall look and feel of this. Uh, I can go down and look at my chat history if I wanna do that. Click settings in the bottom left. Here's some other recents here. Projects is on the left as well. I'm gonna make this one very quick because I don't think there's a lot to discuss when it comes to user interface. I'm gonna give this a wash. Cause again, this is really based on user preference. I do like both of them. I can't make a decision when it comes to user interface. So the next factor to look at is vision. Now vision is the ability to upload attachments like images or PDFs and have the AI tool analyze them and provide useful data based on what you upload. So both ChatGPT Plus and Claude Pro are able to use vision elements. And so the classic example of this confusing parking sign I've seen before, I just wanted to do something quick here, um, where you know basically you'd upload this to a ChatGPT or Claude and say, can I park here on a day at this time? And so that's what I did. I said, analyze this image. Am I allowed to park here on a Friday at 1 p.m.? And it gave me all these, you know, information on what it's reading in the sign. And it says, conclusion, you cannot park at 1 p.m. because the no stopping rule from 7.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. on school days is in effect. So if I click this, it says school days exceptions, um, one hour parking. Honestly, I don't even know here, but that's what it's telling me. So let's see what Claude came up with when I asked the same exact prompt. It analyzed it, gave all the details of the signs, and it says, given this information, you are not allowed to park here on a Friday unless you have school business. If you do have school business, you'd be allowed to park up to 15 minutes between 7 a.m. and 8 p.m. I believe that's what it said right here. Yeah, seven to, well, no, that's not right either, I don't think. Maybe it is, I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments below, guys. That's a very confusing example that I just gave. Um, but long story short, it looks like both are good at this vision component. I'm not gonna do another example. You guys can play around with this on your own. For the purposes of this comparison, I'm just gonna say that's a wash. If I had to give a slight edge, maybe ChatGPT+, but I'm not confident enough to do that. Um, I would just say the vision component is a wash because in the past, I've uploaded PDFs to both of these and asked to summarize PDFs, and it did that very effectively. So the next factor I wanna look at, this one might be controversial as well, as many of these are, is the parent company behind each of these premium models, right? So who's behind Claude Pro? Who's behind ChatGPT Plus? And the answer to that is obvious. OpenAI is behind ChatGPT Plus and Anthropic is behind Claude Pro. Now from an outsider looking in, I personally prefer Anthropic over OpenAI, just do not trust OpenAI. I know Anthropic has a lot of money coming in from Amazon and other big tech companies as well. 
Um, but personally, I just do not trust OpenAI. There's been all sorts of stories going on, uh, whether it was Sam Altman getting fired by the board, all these lawsuits coming into OpenAI. We're seeing a brain drain from OpenAI to Anthropic uh, as one of the co-founders, you know, made the move over to Anthropic. So we've seen people from OpenAI hop over to Anthropic for various reasons. There's a lot of security and privacy concerns at OpenAI. Um, another, you know, hacking problem. I mean, just go to Google and type in OpenAI PR issues and you can just go down the list. But that is a, something I just wanted to mention very quickly is it's, a, it's not that important, but it's something to consider when choosing Claude Pro versus ChatGPT Plus is who are the parent companies behind these different large language models. And I'm going to give the nod to Anthropic and Claude Pro. I just trust Anthropic more long term than I do OpenAI. Last but not least, I thought this was also important to throw in is resources. What are some of the resources resources provided, excuse me, so we can get the best outputs possible using these different tools? And both Anthropic and OpenAI actually offer a lot of different resources. So Anthropic has a prompt engineering guide right here. They have all these different prompt examples, like a prompt library where you can go in and just get all these useful tips and tricks to improve your prompts inside Claude. And then similarly, OpenAI also has a prompt engineering guide. There's all sorts of great information in here. They have all sorts of prompt examples similar to what I just showed with Anthropic. Uh, so long story short, that has to be a wash as both companies definitely provide useful resources for their prospective tools. So wrapping this all up, which is better, ChatGPT Plus or Claude Pro? And the obvious answer is it depends. It depends on your use case. It depends what you're trying to use these tools for. You could try both of them as $20 a month is pretty inexpensive compared to other SaaS tools that exist and see what you find that you like more. You'll see I do have more X's here for Claude Pro than I do ChatGPT Plus. And in my personal situation and use case, I do prefer Claude Pro over ChatGPT Plus as of this video recording. That could change very quickly. And the reason is I like Claude 3.5 Sonnet over GPT 4.0. I like Claude Projects over custom GPTs. And I also trust Anthropic over OpenAI. Now, on the, the devil's advocate side, if you prefer ChatGPT Plus, they can generate high quality images with DALI. They can browse the web in real time. Custom GPTs are still very high quality tools that you can leverage. And GPT 4.0 is still a very advanced language model. So I can definitely see the case for both sides. But again, as of this video recording, I personally do prefer Claude Pro over ChatGPT Plus as both of them do cost $20 per month. So I want to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments below. Are you a fan of ChatGPT Plus or are you a fan of Claude Pro? Or are there other AI tools that you think are more bang for your buck versus ChatGPT Plus or Claude Pro altogether? I want to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments. So if you haven't already liked this video, if you learned something, you found value, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. If you didn't find value, give me a thumbs down as I know not to make videos like this in the near future. And guys, most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.